All right, welcome to the third skate and chat. In this video, you're gonna see a bit of a training session at Cambridge Skate Park, was really trying to hone and relearn my ledge tricks. And then we stumbled upon this random park that I've never been to before. In Greenpoint, there was a slappy curb, a ledge. We just had the best time. And then in the chat portion, I wanna talk about something I experienced during the Cambridge session, which is the madness in skateboarding. When you get obsessed with a trick and you just wanna keep trying and trying and trying, but then you start to get exhausted exhausted, but you're still obsessed, so you keep pushing through it. I ended up walking away from a battle during this session, and I kind of wanted to talk about how I feel like I'm better at finding that line of where to stop trying a trick, and it all ties into just my older, more mature relationship with skateboarding. Here's the vlog, and I'll see you back here for the chat. <laughs> Sticky as hell. Let me just kind of finesse it more. Oh, damn. <laughs> the goal is going to be back tail now. Sending on the 10. 5? 10 5? Something like that. Probably 9 5 or 10 5. So sorry. <laughs> Beautiful, George. Does it fall? It feels like it right look here. This, dude. It's August. Yeah, but look at the tree. Look, look at, at that pile of leaves. Path. That one looks gross. Look at the path. Like the path. Butterfly. That butterfly just landed on me. Oh, it's landing on Eric. Shit was right in my ear. It's right there, it's right there. Right there, right there. Eric, stop! You've got to let it land on you. No, no, get away from me. <laughs> oh, I thought you just got it, Dan. It, it landed, but it went away. It's like, bitch, you oh, smell. No! I don't get it. I just can't do that. No, you can't. Look, like, as I roll up to it, my nose wheel is almost, like, pivoting onto it. How do you even do that? You just, like... You're maybe even doing a little too much. Too much nose? Maybe too much. Eric kind of goes in with the back, I think. Nice. That front foot's got to be solid. But then you can even lift the front foot. I got it. <laughs> nice. I don't even really know what I did. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, days like these are setting my soul on fire. They're bringing me such happiness. I'm so grateful to have kind of found skateboarding again. Quick session reflection. So Cambridge, we started out kind of very methodically skating the ledge. I was trying to relearn my nollie crooks. Danny was trying kickflip back tail and then really just did a shit ton of back tails. This trick is really clicking. I feel like I'm getting more and more comfortable with the back tail, which is surprising to hear myself say because that trick has been such a struggle. There was a span of many years where I couldn't even get into the back tail. I just could not figure it out. <laughs> but it seems that the effort I've put into this trick is beginning to pay off. I'm really sliding them, really feeling comfortable, really have that strong backside body language, really just trusting the back tail. So that feels amazing. And then the little bit of a battle that I got into was I was trying to do a back tail on the ledge followed by a little kickflip back 50 on the bump to ledge. And now I certainly feel like I could have done this trick, which is what made it very frustrating as I was trying and trying and trying and getting more and more exhausted and just really hitting that point of exhaustion where I started to feel like I was just too tired to do it, right? And for much of my skateboarding history, if I get mentally hooked on a trick, if I really want to do it, I will literally push it till the sun sets or until I'm literally too physically exhausted to even pop my skateboard. But it's interesting to see the point where I've gotten to now where it's like if I hit that that point of exhaustion, it's much easier to walk away. And while I have an appreciation and respect for the phase of skateboarding in my life where I would go for the trick no matter what, I also very much respect and appreciate this phase where if I just feel like it's not coming together in time, I can just walk away and it doesn't really matter whether I landed the trick or not, right? So by the time Danny and I got to that park in Greenpoint and we were just chilling out, I asked him a question. I was like, are we trying too hard? to like rattle off tricks and to perform well and to land new tricks and to do all these things. And we came to the conclusion that it's really fun to push yourself, but there is this beautiful balance you can find where you pick a trick that's tough for you. You try and try and try. And if it's not coming together and if you're hitting that point of exhaustion, it's okay to walk away. And because you weren't so attached to landing the trick, it doesn't deplete your mood, right? I remember in the past, like I particularly think of this tray flip I was trying in Jersey City. City. I was just sticking it and slipping out and getting so close and, and trying until my absolute limit until I could not jump down that set of stairs a single time. And I remember after having a full battle, not landing it, I would obsessively think about that trick for the next few weeks until I would go and try it again. I think I ended up trying that three times and I never landed it. You know, we will see, but I don't expect myself to get that attached to a trick again. I feel like I'd rather just give up a little bit earlier so that I don't fall into that deep obsession of needing to land the trick. I just feel like overall it feels a little bit lighter and more chill that way. And that's kind of where I'm at, right? So the beauty of skateboarding and the days that skateboarding facilitates, like the one that you just saw in this vlog, is so much more than just the tricks. But that's also a beautiful part of it, right? But it's nice. It's nice to not be sitting here a few days later still obsessing over that kickflip back 50 line, right? It's nice to have just accepted that it wasn't working out that day and just move on and allow myself to really enjoy the rest of the day and the rest of my life, right? Until the next time I skate, right? So yeah, yeah, I'm happy to be where I'm at. I feel like there's still room to progress and learn new tricks, but it's it's very mellow. It's very mellow and I like it. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of these skating chats. If you like them, leave a comment. I keep wondering if I should voice over the session and leave it even more raw and just talk through the tricks I was working on as you're watching them. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. But uh, for now, you know, I'll see you next time the skate bug and the vlog bug strikes. <laughs> Peace. That's kind of like what we used to do. Is take then why does minutes. this feel embarrassing? <laughs> but look how great it is. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do it together. <laughs>